Baby, how are you feeling today? <laughs> A daytime anger. Okay, what are we gonna talk about today? Shit. Really, babe? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. All right, how we got into Covenant Transport? We got into Covenant Transport because we wanted to be with each other. Sure. Okay, so tell us the story from the from the beginning. Shit, we was in school. They had recruiters come to the school. We liked what they say. We could. They said we could work together while training. One of us be a ghost, and one of us could drive. Trump and we can drive and train together. And we was like, oh snap, that sounds cool. So we did it. And then we trained together and then they gave us our truck. Because they emphasized that they really want teams. So we kind of put in uh, ahead of everyone else. Okay. So what are the good stuff what are the pros and cons for working for uh Covenant Transport? Let's go with pros first. Okay, pros so far, um, uh, I like that they give you for each day, I mean each week on the road, they give you a day off, which is pretty cool, like you accumulate enough But days. that's not, that's not a, always a thing, mm -hmm. it's usually when we like run our hours out, but it's not really a every, every week thing. Well, in, in general talk, generally speaking, I don't think that's a, um, uh, I made a thing in uh, most companies, but I'm not sure I'm ignorant in that type of way. So this is something I like uh, in a company. Okay, we get do seven weeks on a road, we get seven days off. This is pretty cool. It's not bad. Blah blah blah. I think that's a, that's probably for the, for the every big company. But what else do you think know. it's a benefit? I don't know. Uh, benefit else is. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not 100 sure, sure. I know a lot of pros when it comes to um, the things that I like with um, the company. Uh, if I can right. think of something on the top of my head, I would have to say um, uh, Covenant really likes safety. Like they're not gonna push you to run something where you have to literally, like you know, pick up your truck and try to jump it over a mountain or like. You know, there's a blizzard, a super blizzard. They don't want you to run like that. No, they can tell you to shut down. They have their own weather system. They try to make sure that the safety of their drivers is the uh, most important thing, which is, which I really like. You know, that's pretty cool. Like they care. Okay, um, for let me let me get involved. Like when we started first, uh, what I really liked about Covenant Transport is that uh, first they offered us to team together and to train together, and we as husband and wife we really wanted to you know train together so they were the only company who actually up offered us that the second thing that i liked is that we were um the yeah they do not they do not want to sign a you to sign a contract which is a great thing also they uh automatically said that if they don't deserve you you should be able to go uh the second thing that i really liked that about them is that <clears throat> they um when we actually just finished our training, our three-day training, they uh, called us in and started talking about reimbursing our tuition. And we didn't even know that that's, uh, that's a thing. We just got out of school and they asked us, did we both get out of school? You remember him? And they told us that they're gonna pay us back. So they are actually monthly reimbursing us for something that we didn't even know it's gonna happen. You know, we just randomly chose to work for them. Uh, the other thing, of course, safety, I totally agree. Um, that you know, like in a in let's say uh, super winds in Wyoming or uh, ice and blizzard and anything like that, they would shut you down. Uh, they will say, have mandatory shutdowns, and you know if there it's not safe out there, they will just tell you to pull over. That's the number one thing. Um, do you have anything else to say? The pros? Um, I don't think I have anything for else. I, I like that they have has like they have a minimum pay, which is okay in self in certain aspects. But 
it's okay. It's cool. I guess you pick his buy. Um, yeah. Right so now, basically, how it works. Uh, you, if you do not make enough mileage and you are available like seven days a week, they will pay you a minimum pay of a certain amount depending like what stage uh, are you there and working for them. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. So what are the cons? Uh, cons is that um, uh, conversation, like our communication needs to be stepped up. Uh, and simplified, simplified to me. It's a little bit way too complicated than it needs to be. Uh, you know, like I have a vision, you know. I vision us, drivers, as legs, and I vision Covenant as the brain. And uh, for the brain to, like, to tell us what to do, they have to be on point so that we, we can run and do everything that we need to do properly. And, and that's it, it's very simple. We run, they tell us where to go, where to drop it, that's it. It's, that's pretty much it. There's no idiocy in any of that. You know, there's no way to kind of fuck up if you just make it simple. And that's where things kind of like muddy. It's just not that simple. It kind of sucks. Yeah, um, I also agree that communication can be very rough. Sometimes because they have very, it seems like they have a lot of people that are handling, uh, like let's say you're going back and forth with multiple shifts about the same issue. Uh, so let's say if something happened to you at night and it wasn't resolved by the by the morning, you have it wasn't transferred to the next person. Then you have to all of it over explain, like you, you never talk to anyone. Um, you know, there's like uh, really miscommunication when it comes to that. Um, I think that that's, that's the major actually problem. I don't know when it comes to Covenant, it's a good starting company. Uh, do you make uh, what you expect it to make? Definitely no. Um, do you, yeah, like what you were told, like you, you should accept as a, even if you're a new driver or not a new driver, it's definitely a good starting company. Uh, we did not even complete a year yet. So uh, we, are, we are not disliking them. We are kind of like, I don't know, I would say 60, 40% maybe 70 30 they're not bad but definitely um, keep in mind yeah keep in mind that is uh, that they're a huge company that they have a lot of respect for you uh, there's um, as a human. <clears throat> yeah as a human they have a lot of respect for you the home time is definitely promised if you uh, do not get uh, home in any type of way you can make drama uh, and Basically, like if you want it on a specific day, by any chance it doesn't happen that they deliver you with your truck, you can request to be uh, sent any different type of way and they will actually reimburse you uh, for the trip. Um, so, you know, uh, there's they always come up with a solution when it comes to the way they treat you. So I definitely like that. Did it happen sometimes that they cross the line of respect? Absolutely, yes. But uh, me coming from a Serbian background and like, stories that I heard from my Serbian uh, drivers like they used to have a very bad experience uh, starting the trucking business. Ramel and I we don't have any bad experience. Uh, so far we really don't have any bad experience. There's like we were with the trainer we thought we disagreed with him on multiple levels but overall it wasn't that like there's nothing really to put out there and say okay I made the wrong decision. So so far we definitely agree that this is the best decision that we so far made. Um, when it comes to Covenant Transport, I don't know if there's anything else to say. Um, they offer a lot of like lease and purchase programs. There's people who work for them for a very long time. Uh, they want kind of they want to manipulate you in a way to choose uh, things that benefit them, of course. And um, you know, like get hazmat, I'm gonna give you more than what you have now. And if you don't get hazmat, I'm not gonna even promise you loads. Uh, like in a way like that. But if you do get like if you do decide to come to Covenant Transport, I would say. Uh, the best idea is get hazmat in advance so you can benefit from the start uh, because eventually like if you want to stay with them you, you would definitely decide to do it and there's not a lot of hazmat loads and they're not like you don't call explosives and stuff like that so you have to worry about my first uh, kind of like thought was I was a little worried to get hazmat because I, I thought wait a minute uh, at first uh, we wasn't even thinking about <clears throat> Yeah, because we thought, what if we hit the trailer? What if something happens? You know, there's like extra responsibility. We just wanted to learn how to drive. So, yeah, we just wanted to haul cargo and 
normal cargo, nothing that requires any more extra training for, you know. Uh, probably cargo requires a little bit more training and more attentiveness towards uh, your cargo, which I don't care for. I hate the fact that uh, there's sometimes I have to clean out the back of the trailer. I, it's annoying to me. If they say no touch, no, no whatever, I'm, I don't want to touch it. All my cargo for uh, where it needs to go. That's it. Right. Um, I mean, overall, it's a pretty good company. Would I advise to new drivers to come here? Absolutely. Um, I would also advise uh, people to come. If you want to be with your spouse or your significant other, brother, sister, whatever, you guys don't want to separate. This is the best place to be. They're not going to separate. They're always going to put you together, which is the nicest thing. That I like. I really like about it. It's a big plus to me. Right, and also I forgot to say this uh, bad boy that we're driving is actually 2020 uh, Freightliner. That's like the the nicest thing so far. Uh, we got assigned like we had a month of driving experience with a trainer, and they assigned you to a brand new truck. You know, and equipment is always top. Uh, they literally don't don't want you even to like replace a light bulb. You know, on your own, everything is handled by them, and you know maintenance and stuff like that. Uh, so when it comes to that, it's really Everything is really great. There's no complaints whatsoever. Um, overall, overall, I would definitely say like go for it. Uh, I would definitely advise like whoever is starting. It's a really good company to start with, um, and you know then you go from there. I mean, it depends what your goals and your interests are. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, so we're gonna finish this video. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.